How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle session. Today we're going against Lazy Boy, also known as Tyler, from the Discord server in the underused tier. Looking at their team, pretty strong. Deoxys Speed, Tentacruel, Zarude, Gengar, Florgis, and a Moltres. Pretty powerful stuff. This is the new team that I've got running. I was kind of bored of that Zoroa team, so I decided to make a new one. And this time we've got Feraligator, we've got Tinkaton, the whole squad, Vikavolt, you know, all that stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is they probably lead off with um, the Oxys. So I'm going to leave Vikavolt and kind of go from there. Instead of setting up Sticky Webs, I'm just going to bug buzz it in the face because it's more than likely going to taunt us or they'll go for a Stealth Rock or something. So let's just go with it. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, lazy boys. So they're going to lead off with Noodle Doodle. The Deoxys speed nice and shiny as we lead off with Supercharge the Vika Vault. So, not a bad matchup. This is kind of what we anticipated. Um, but let's just see how this plays out. So I'm going to go straight for a Bug Buzz. I don't see any reason not to. They go for the Taunt as anticipated. Great, we made the right play by not going for Sticky Webs. And we get some solid damage off on this Deoxys. There we go. So, down to its Sash we go. Absolutely brilliant. They've got a Focus Sash. Good to know that. They've broken that. Um, right now, what we're going to do is, because they haven't got a ground type, I feel very confident going for a Volt Switch here or a Bug Buzz. To be honest with you, I think I will go for a Bug Buzz because what are they going to do? They can't bring Moltres in. They need to go for a T-Bolt to finish them off. I think we go for another Bug Buzz just to be safe. They go for the Stealth Rock, so it is a suicide lead. Deoxys Speed, which is absolutely fine by me. And if you're watching at this point, then a uh, friendly reminder to drop a like on the video, subscribe as well if you haven't already. We're on our way to 20k by the end of the year, and I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. So, with Deoxys Speed down and out, we can mark that off the team list that I've got screenshotted next to me, and we'll see what they're going to bring in next. In comes Flora, the Florges, and what's great is that we still have our Focus Sash intact, so we can just Volt Switch here. We should outspeed the Florges, and I don't think they'll go for anything other than maybe screens here. Or something along those lines. But Vika Vault looks like it's going to do really well this game. So they go for a Calm Mind. Now that is interesting. So Calm Mind Floor just is probably physically defensive. However, this Vault Switch should still do a nice little bit of chip damage to it. Yeah, a bit of chip. Can't go wrong with a bit of chip. And now we'll just go into our Pokemon that's best suited to take on Floor just. And I'm leaning toward Tinkerton with a Gigaton Hammer. I think that is the best way to go. Looking at the team, nothing really wants to switch on a Gigaton Hammer. Except from the Moltres. So I think I will do that. I'll scare it out because we don't want the floor just calm mining all over our face. That's just not on. Um, nice and shiny as well, the Tinkerton is. Gotta love it. Nice golden hammer. So we break the mold, not that it matters. And then we are going to float in the air with our air balloon. Do they stay in here and terror or do they switch into Moltres? Now, one thing we can do is we can scout for this. So we could go into our Skeledurge. Skeledurge does well against Moltres, kind of. Depends whether it's got Scorching Sands or not. And it definitely does well against um, the Floor. Just, I'm thinking the Floor just maybe Terra Fire. Something along those lines. So I feel like Skeledurge is going to be useful. Because Skeledurge doesn't really match up well, very well against their team anyway. So I am going to do that. Because they definitely switch out here. Or Terra. One of the two. And I don't want my Tinkerton taken down by a Terra Blast Fire. When it does so much work against their team. The knockoff of the Gengar. It can take any hit from the Zarud. All sorts. They are going to Terra. So let's see what type they Terra into. I'm, 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 bring, I'm predicting the fire, but I could be wrong. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. So they go for the Terra Ground. Oh, that's not going to work out for Skeledurge. But like I said, Skeledurge isn't too bothered about this. Um, as they do go for a Terra Blast, it is plus one, but we have got the Unaware. So it's not going to be boosted. Let's see how much damage it does. It does a whopping... Oh, wow. It's a lot of damage. Um, so what should we do here? That's the real question. What do we do here? I'm leaning towards going for a Torch Song. I'm also leaning towards burning it. If I, Is this the right Skeletor set with burn? No, it's not. Okay, so. So. So, 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 so. I say we go for our most powerful move, which is going to be Torch Song. Um, because there is always the chance they go for a Calm Mind. And I'd rather stack up my special attack to match them. And they more than likely have Wish as well. So they go for another Terra Blast. They do actually outspeed us. Maybe Flaugis is faster than I thought. I just always assumed Flaugis was extremely slow. Like, I know Skeledurge isn't exactly a speedster, but it, I thought it would outspeed. But either way, it's fine. We're in a better position now because they've already got one Calm Mind up. And they are a ground type, which means, ladies and gentlemen, what does this mean? It means Feraligator can now come in. 
and just goes straight for a liquidation. No need to drag it or anything. This liquidation will 100% take out this floor. Just, I am very confident in that fact. So let's see how this plays out. So Stone's going to dig in. Absolutely fine by me. Let us go for a liquidation and take this floor just out. That's what I'm planning. So we go for a liquidation. They stay in. Fair enough. Floor just does go down. Looking at their team, they don't really have a good switch into for Alligator, which is absolutely amazing for us. So not only have they used their Terror up, but so we don't have to worry about that later. But we've also taken out a big threat after it's Calm Mind to the team, which is fantastic. In comes Zerud. So Zerud is an interesting one. Oh, it's the, it's the event one with the pink scarf. That's cool. I like that. That's really cool, that is. So what do we do here? I'm assuming they're going to go for a Power Whip. So I kind of want to go Cyclozar so we can go for a Rapid Spin. But that would bait in the Gengar. So I kind of want to go into the Tinkerton instead. Tinkerton could do really well here. Um, I think I will go Tinkerton. Just because A, it doesn't really care if it would go for a knockoff because any attack is going to burst the air balloon anyway. And B, we resist both its stabs. And then the only thing you can really do is go for close combat, which we should be able to eat up um, two of those. So let's see how this plays out first. Break the mold, which doesn't matter in this case. And then the floats in the air with the air balloon. And then we'll see what Zerud's going to do. U-turn. Okay, so they predicted the switch and they're going to go for a U-turn. I suppose it was a pretty obvious switch, but um, I still wanted to make it anyway because... If, if they're going for U-turn, there's no point in, you know, I, I can't risk for Alligator going down. KFC is going to come in, which is going to be the Moltres. That's a really cool nickname. That's why I nickname my Blaziken sometimes as well. Um, so what can we do here? So I'm Terra Ghost. I could definitely go for a Terra Ghost. Or I can make the sensible play and predict the fire type move and go for a Cyclozar switch. And then I can go for a Rapid Spin and get rid of these Stealth Rocks. Keep my Focus Sash on my Vika Vault and get some serious damage on something later on down the line. I think I will do that. I don't think they'll predict the Cyclozar switch. I think, if anything, they'll predict a Terra here. So I'm going to go into Ferrari, my Cyclozar, like so. And then we're going to see what they're going to do. They go for a Heat Wave. Not going to do too much to my Cyclozar. It did more than I thought it would, but um, not, not too much. Um, so let's go for a Rapid Spin. Because I want to get rid of these Stealth Rocks. And I know they're going to bring Gengar in, but I want to go for the Rapid Spin anyway, just in case. Which they don't bring the Gengar in, which is fantastic. Which means we are able to get rid of those stealth rocks, which is great. Let's see what they're going to do. They go for a hurricane and they miss. They miss the hurricane. Who'd have thought you'd miss a hurricane, eh? Who would have thunk it? So now all we need to do is drop a Draco and we'll be golden. There we go. Draco Meteor is going to be got dropped. There's a lot of damage. Not too much damage, but I know a good amount. They risk the hurricane again. They hit this time. Is it enough to take us out? It is indeed. So Cyclizar does go down. But that's absolutely fine by me because... We have ways to deal with Moltres. No? Not really. We've got Fralligator. Fralligator can live a hurricane, I'm sure. But I don't want it to get burned. So do we use the Volt Switch now? I think we do. I think we go Vega Volt and we go for the Volt Switch. I think that's the best play. They can't Terra, we know that. All they can really do is take us down to our Sash with Heat Wave. And then get KO'd by Volt Switch. So that's all they can really do. So they go for the Heat Wave. Takes us right down to 20 HP. We actually lived on our own without the Focus Dash. Interesting. Volt Switch comes through. Takes out the Moltres. And that is going to be the game for the Turkey. Fire Turkey. Sorry, it's chicken, isn't it? Wait, is it chicken or turkey, Moltres? I mean, I know it's a phoenix. But I mean, like, you know, when you... <laughs> What's those rubber things? The yellow rubber things? Is that a rubber chicken? It's a rubber chicken, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Why was I having so much trouble figuring that out? Anyway, let's go Chestnut. Because I have a feeling they're going to go Zerud here for the turn. So we'll go Chestnut. Like so. And then we'll see. Oh, no, no. They get a free switch in on my Pokemon. So I think Chestnut is the best Pokemon to go into. They're going to bring in Squidward, the Tentacruel. I'm assuming that they're doing that because they have Sludge Wave over Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb wouldn't affect me because of my Bulletproof ability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack off Vika Volt here. I know we like switched out Vika Volt um, and all that with the Volt Switch. But I'm going to go back into Vika Volt and let it go down. Because this Tentacruel cannot touch our Feraligator. If I set up with Feraligator... We are golden. So there we go. We're drawing our chestnut. We're going to go into our nice and powerful Vika Vault. Just to let it go down to whatever attack this Tentacruel goes for. As they go for a Gunk Tree. It's a physical Tentacruel. That's awesome. Again, I want to just apologize for my voice. Because I have, I'm have. i just coming over a sore throat. Um, and today is the day that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to record today. So that's just kind of how it went down. So anyway, let's go for Alligator now. And we'll get up a Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance should work really well. In theory, Tinkerton can probably wall this thing pretty well. Um, but it can't really dish out any damage in return of the knockoff. 
So I think going for a Dragon Dance here is going to be our best play. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our Life Orb, which is really unfortunate for us. Losing that extra power. But we still have the sheer force. They can't knock off abilities. So that's always great. So if you made it this far, by the way, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 20k by the end of the year. And I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. And with that being said, let's go for a crunch. Do I Terra? I think I Terra, don't I? I Terra Dark Crunch. I definitely Terra Dark Crunch here. I need to get the most amount of power out of this crunch. I don't think it KOs without terrestrialization. So here we are. We're going to put some crystals on our head. Some crystal darkness. And then we'll go straight for a crunch, which should, if this is a physically offensive tentacruel, it should KO. If it's physically defensive, there is a chance they live, but I don't think they are, as they barely live on one HP. Missed the gunk shot. That wasn't even focused, Ash. It just lived. It just lived that. No problems there. It just lives. I think we lived the gunk shot, but I also think we may have taking a lot of damage and we still don't know whether the Zerud is Geng or the Gengar or Choice Scarf or not so I am going to go for another crunch um, just to get it down if they are Choice Scarf Zerud not a problem we have got the Chestnut in the back and we can still use for Alligator against the Gengar if need be but you know it is what it is but Hacks is Hacks Gunshot is a low accuracy move it's just how it goes I'm afraid so Zerud comes in this thing's definitely Choice Scarf if they brought it in like that they're probably going to go for a U-turn so I'm going to go straight into Tinkerton there's no reason to let Feraligator go down here because it's still going to be useful against the Gengar. Because the Gengar, if it's Choice Scarf Gengar, should be able to live a Dazzling Gleam. It's not stabbed. It should be able to live one from the health we're at. So I'm going to go Bam Bam. Bam Bam real quick. There we go. Break the mold. Not that it really matters. And then they go for a close combat, which is going to sting a little bit. Not too much. I think we can live one more. I'm pretty sure we can live one more. I hope. We don't have leftovers, so we don't know for definite... I'm going to go for a Gigaton Hammer. They go for another close combat. Can we live? We don't. Ah. That is a problem. I'm afraid. That is a real problem. So. What do we do here? Because we've got Chestnut. So if we go Chestnut. I think Chestnut is the way to go. But I think Chestnut invites in the Gengar. They definitely go Gengar against the chestnut they don't u-turn or they might u-turn depends what set they are i think they hard switch personally but i am gonna go i know they're gonna go gengar but at the same time i don't i'm gonna hard switch my Feraligator into uh, into Feraligator as they do hard switch the uh, zarud into gengar so i made the right play it's nice and shiny as well gotta love it and it floats in the air with an air balloon so it's got its levitate ability back that's awesome so, good to know he's not Life Orb or Choice Specs, which means we may actually live a hit. We may live a hit. So, let's see how this plays out. So, let us go for a Crunch. I don't see any reason not to go for a Crunch because we could have Ice Punch, so they can't just willy-nilly switch their Zerud in. They go for a Sludge Bomb. Can we live? We live in! We go for a Crunch after living a Sludge Bomb, which is great, which means that Gunk Chop miss from the Tentacruel earlier definitely mattered. Definitely mattered. As the Gengar goes down. What an intense game though. That was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome if I do say so myself. In comes the Rude now. So we can let our uh, Feraligator go down to this if we want to. I'll go for an Ice Punch just in case they end up going for something else. But I think they go for a uh, U-turn or something along those lines to lock themselves into. So they go for a U-turn. Takes out the Feraligator. They obviously don't want the defense drops from the close combat. We still don't know what set the Rude is. I would assume that it is Choice Scarf. By the way, they hard switched out against the Chestnut instead of U-turning. So I'm assuming that they are now locked into U-turn. So Juggernaut can come in. The Chestnut. And we should be able to just go straight for a body press here and take this thing out. Because we can definitely take a U-turn from it. They go for a U-turn. No damage, pretty much. Rocky Helmet chip. We go for a body press now. And body press is going to easily... Oh, they lived! They lived! Now we just go for a spiky shield just to see the animation. Oh, they changed the animation? It doesn't put its hands together in a shield anymore. That's unfortunate. But oh well. That's going to be the game. GG, Lazy Boy. That was a pretty fun one. We haven't battled in a while. I'm glad we managed to get a battle. Really cool team. Really well played by my opponent. Unfortunate hacked with a gunshot miss. Could have mattered a lot, to be honest with you. Probably did matter a lot. 
Um, but yeah, that's, that's the game. And the second game is here. We're going against Dez, also known as Double D, from the Discord server in the underused tier. Once again, go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles. There is a link in the description down below. And looking at the team, they got a Gator, they got a Robin Root, <laughs> this is what I mean. Raikou, Kingdra, Politoed, and a Gallade. Very powerful stuff. That Sharpness Gallade is going to be a big problem for us. Although we do have the Tink Tom, we do have the Skeledurge, so we can kind of handle it. I think um, Sticky Web is going to be important in this game. Um, the decision why is their Defogger, obviously. We have no way of blocking Defog, obviously. Um, so I think I will lead off with Vika Vault because they more than likely lead off with Toad um, or Gallade if they really want to be ballsy. But I think it's more than likely going to be the Politoed. So I'm going to go with the Vika Vault. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Double D. So they're going to lead off with Saber 2 for the Raikou as we lead off with Vika Vault. So Supercharged is looking pretty good right now. That Sticky Web is going to be really nice, um, especially considering it baits in the Decidueye, and we know the Decidueye will go for a Defog um, if we do do it. So I'm going to go for that Sticky Web, knowing that this Raikou can't really touch us. As they go for a Scold, knowing that we can't touch them, and they do get the Burn, which is going to make that Scold a 2-hit KO after the Burn damage. So that's unfortunate, but we do get the Webs up, which is always nice. And we can still use the Vika Vault later on down the line um, as Sack. So... We'll see if we've got a switch in first, or we might have to let Vika Vault go down. It's one of the two. Um, I'd say probably we could go Chestnut, but I don't want to get burned. Um, Froggy, I don't want to get burned. I wouldn't switch that in anyway. I think the best thing to do here is to just go for a Bug Buzz, to be honest with you. As uh, they go for another Skull, can we live? We live on 4 HP, which is fantastic. Like I said, though, it was a 2 at KO after the burn damage. So we are going to go down to said burn. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, the Raikou is weakened. Now I'm going to go into my Cyclizar because I'm pretty confident that Cyclizar can take this Raikou out with a Draco Meteor right now. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. They may bring Decidueye in. They probably will. They withdraw the Raikou. And they're going to go into Blade. Who's Blade? Is that the Decidueye? It's the Gallade. Of course it's the Gallade. Who else would it be? So Sticky Webs is going to come into effect, which is great. We're going to drop a Draco on this Gallade's face. We should do a decent bit of damage as it does over half, which is fantastic. Um, now I'm going to go straight for a U-turn because even if they're Choice Scarf, which is likely, um, we still outspeed because of the Sticky Web. So let's go for a U-turn real quick. If we go for a U-turn, get a bit more chip damage off on the Gallade. Now the real question is, what do we switch in? That is the real question. What can we possibly switch in on this thing? If we assume they're going to go for a Sacred Sword, we should go Skeledurge. If they go for a Night Slash though, we're a bit boned. If we assume they're going to predict Chestnut, they might go for a Psycho Cut. So it's a real toss-up on what to do. I think Skeledurge is the least valuable Pokemon on the team, given their team is a rain team. Um, so Skeledurge can probably be... Uh, if I lose Skeledurge, I'm not too fussed. They do go for a Psycho Cut, which does over half with a crit. But unless they're Choice Scarf, we should still be all right. Because we can go for a Shadow Ball now, and hopefully... We outspeed thanks to the sticky web. We don't. It tells me they probably are. Um, they probably are choice scarfed because they still outsped us after sticky web. But at the same time, as we learned in the last game, Skeletor is pretty slow. So I think the best thing for me to do now is to go back into Cyclozar or Raligator. No, Cyclozar is the best. Cyclozar is the best, and the reason being is because basically what I want to do here is I've lost two Pokemon already, so we have got to stop making some plays. So I want to go for a U-turn predicting the switch, but I feel like they just sack off the Gallade here at this point. So what I'm thinking of doing is going for a knockoff just in case they switch into the Decidueye. Always a possibility. Um, but I feel like they let the Gallade go down and I don't want to lose my special attack. So we go for a knockoff, which is fantastic. Gallade does go down, which is just great. Just fantastic. Gotta love it. And they are Choice Scarf. That's good to know. In comes Politoed. So... Politoed is an interesting one. It's nice and shiny. I gotta love it. Gets caught in the sticky webs, which is always fine and dandy. And then the, the drizzle is here. So they kind of need to get rid of these sticky webs. Um, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to rely on the Kingdra Swift Swim a bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop a Draco just because this Politoed is annoying. And we want to get rid of it as soon as possible. I think we've drawn the Politoed. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go into the Decidueye now? Lockjaw. What's Lockjaw? Is that the Fraligator? Probably, right? Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So that is the um, color scheme of the shiny Fraligator. No, it's the color scheme of Fraligator from Gold, Silver, and Crystal. 
It was actually used to be a quite a green color, which is nearly enough. So um, the Draco missed, which is very unfortunate, um, as it means we basically lose now. Not really. We've got Chestnut, but I need to, I need to drop a Draco on this thing. Need to drop a Draco on this thing because we can't have this thing setting up all over our face. As it lives with over half, well, under half its HP. They go for a nice punch. Takes us out. Absolutely fine by me. They didn't Dragon Dance, which is fantastic. No Dragon Dance is fantastic from that for Alligator. Because now we can bring Chestnut in. Um, but Chestnut does invite the Decidueye a lot. So, but I think that is still the best play to go for. So, I am, I am going to go Chestnut. I'm going to go to Juggernog. And um, the reason being is because, A, they're not going to stay in an Ice Punch, right? They're not. Because we KO them. We definitely live an Ice Punch. They don't want to lose the for Alligator. I'm sure they don't want to lose the for Alligator. Um, so, we should predict the Decidueye and go into Tinkton. That's what my gut's telling me. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to do that. Um, so, we withdraw first, which means they haven't switched out, which means they've gone for the Ice Punch, which is crazy to me. Crazy to me. Oh, they might have gone for a Dragon Dance, to be fair, expecting a Spiky Shield. That is also a possibility. That is also a very big possibility. They did. They predicted the Spiky Shield and went for a Dragon Dance. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. 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 We need to, we need to go back to Chestnut right now. We need to go back to Chestnut right now. Because this Fralligator is set up Dragon Dancers. And that in itself is terrifying. Fralligator did really well in our game last game. Their Fralligator is about to go really well in this game. So Liquidation comes through. Even in... Oh, even though there's a resistant hit and everything, it still does a lot of damage. As now all we need to do is... Because they go for an Ice Punch here 100%. But maybe they might think we don't have Spiky Shield. It was a possibility. Let's go for the Spiky Shield. So we go for a Spiky Shield. They may go for a Dragon Dance again. If they go for a Dragon Dance again, they don't. They go for an Ice Punch, which is fantastic. So what we could do here to keep our Chestnut alive is we could Terra Steel to resist the Ice Punch and then it'll do nothing. That's what we could do. Or we can predict the Ice Punch and go into Tinkerton, but they will still not go down. So that's that's the problem. Do I need Terra on anything else? I'm thinking I don't, to be honest with you. I think if we get a Dragon Dance up with for Alligator, we're going to be golden. So I am going to Terra Steel and I am going to go for a Spikes. I'm going to Terra Steel Spikes because they're going to go down to the Rocky Helmet. So we Terra Steel. If they predict the Terra Steel right now and go for a Liquidation, then that is just an amazing play on my opponent's behalf. And like kudos to them because that is a really good play. But I feel like they go for an Ice Punch anyway. As they go for a Liquidation predicting the Death Terra. And that's going to take us out. So we did, unfortunately, waste our terror. But it's not in vain as the Feraligator goes down. But we are still sitting at 2-4 to four right now. They have got a Raikou. They have got a, a, a Kingdra in the rain. They have got a lot of Pokemon that can do a lot of things to our team. So what are they going to do now? That is the real question. What are they going to do now? They more than likely expect the uh, Feraligator switch. So they probably go Raikou. So I'm going to go Tinkton. They do go Raikou. So that was a... Uh, at least we made the right read there. So we'll go into Bam Bam, the Tinkton, real quick. Like so. They get caught in the sticky webs, which is great. It means we outspeed them. I'm going to break the mold, not that it matters. And then we're going to go for a knockoff because I know we can take a... We, we can't. Can we? Let's take... Let's go for a knockoff anyway and see how much damage it does to this Raikou. So they go for a Thunder. They actually outspeed us, which is interesting. Does over half to us. Paralyzes us. If we get fully paralyzed, it's all over. We couldn't move because we're fully paralyzed. Are you kidding me right now? Have we just lost? We lost anyway because the Feraligator just gets bodied by the Raikou. But still, <laughs> we had some trouble with the Feraligator, but that is going to have to be the game right there. The rain is going to stop, which is potentially good, depending on what kind of set they are. So let us see what they're going to do. So we'll go into Snapper, the Feraligator. I go for a Dragon Lance because if they, they might risk the Thunder and they may miss. If they miss, we're actually in a good position. So let's go for a Dragon Lance. They withdraw. They withdraw? Politoed. That's actually really good for us. So Politoed's an interesting one. So it's going to get caught in the Sticky Webs. It gets the rain up and Kingdra comes in, gets Sticky Webs and then goes, okay, so we might actually be in for a chance here. It depends what this, this Politoed set is, though. If it's got Encore, we can't stack Dragon Dance here. 
I can't risk the Encore, can I? I have to go for a Crunch. I'm going to go for the Crunch because they may go for an Encore. Nearly KOs them. They go for a Haze. Interesting. So Haze has come through. So I go for another Dragon Dance. There's no real reason not to. They may go for an Encore, actually. They may still go for an Encore. That's not good if they go for an Encore. That is not good if they go for an Encore. If they go for an Encore, it's all over. Weather Ball. Okay, so this has worked out all right. As we live that like a champ. So we can't go for a Dragon Lance because they probably go for a Haze here just in case we try and get greedy. So we go for a Crunch here. There we go. Crunch comes through. Polito goes down. So Fralligator could still pull this back because the Kingdra, after Sticky Webs, without checking my speed tiers on Showdown, or Cerebi or whatever, we may still live to see another day here with a Fralligator. Fralligator may come through for us. That's all I'm going to say. Decision Y comes in. This thing's going to sucker punch me, isn't it? Gets caught in the sticky webs, which is great. So I'm going to Shadow Sneak or Sucker Punch us. Either way, they've already terrored, right? They already terror? They didn't already terror. So if we assume they're going to... Mm, if we assume they predict the Ice Punch or the Crunch, probably going to predict the Crunch. They're probably terror dark. We should go for an Ice Punch. Yeah, we go for an Ice Punch. Because they're going to terror. Yeah, they terror. Okay, so they terror. What type are they going to terror into, though? That's the real question. They're going to go terror dark? Terror Ghost, I could have crunched. I could have crunched. I, they've just seen a crunch. They've just seen the crunch. They go for a Shadow Sneak, boosted by Terror Ghost. Does no damage, which is fantastic. We go for an Ice Punch. That does over half. They should have defogged there, to be honest with you. I'd have defogged. I'd have 100% defogged there. So they go for another Shadow Sneak. The rain might wear off before they get to the Kingdra. At this point. So they do get us down 7 HP. We go for a crunch though. Takes out a Decidueye. So that's fantastic. This game is becoming closer and closer. And it's all thanks to Feraligator. All thanks to Feraligator. It, it pulled through last game. It pulled through this game. And I think it's RU. It's rarely used. Which is interesting for Feraligator. Because you'd think it would be used more. It's such a potent sweeper. So Queendra comes in. I always nickname my uh, female... So anyway, Sticky Rose comes through. Crunch is our superior move to use here. It may not KO the Kingdra though. Kingdra has relatively decent bulk, but they may also still outspeed. But at the same time, if they drop a Draco, they may also miss. There's a lot of factors that are going to decide this game. Let's go for a Crunch. We do outspeed, even though they're in Swift Swim. We don't get the KO. They go for an Ice Beam. And that's going to be the end. So Fraligator really tried. He pulled it back for us really well there. But GG Double D, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed that one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.